Hey everybody, it's me, it's BB Thiefy, and we're back with more console capers, and we are moving on to the handheld era of gaming for the month, and without further ado, we are uh, moving on to the Game Boy Advance, and uh, I'm doubling down on all the Spider-Man that's been going on lately at the uh, on the channel. And we're going to play some Spider-Man Battle for New York. I don't know anything about this game. I have played most of the 2D Spider-Mans on the channel, I think. This is not on the handle. The prologue. Spider-Man, a fluke of scientific anomaly. What happens to someone whose physiology is conditioned to thrive when combined with the Oz compound? What then? So, traditional Norman Osborn about to experiment on himself, making himself into the Green Goblin. Alright. I'm guessing this is the Ultimate Spider-Man universe by the look of it. What? Oh, okay, that's what he's seeing. I see. Gotcha. Oh. I'm playing as the goblin. So, so far it's a beat him up at some point. No movement. I can, I can jump. Who's really picking a fight with the Green Goblin in the middle of the street? Especially when I look kind of like the Hulk. Fuck off. Dick. I don't know why I'm fighting ghosts. It's fucking weird. This is the most confusing Spider Man game I've ever played. I debated even playing this when it came up on the list because I was just like, well, this is odd. This is too convenient given what else I've been playing. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> Dick. seems odd that I'm playing as the goblin so much. And what is honestly one of the shittier beat-em-ups I've ever played. Fuck off. I apparently should have paid a little more attention because I don't know what I'm supposed to be smashing in here, but... Apparently, light the Bunsen burners. That was apparently my mission. Yeah, I know that dickhead. Flee the room! Oh, upgrade go. Yep. Like to upgrade the max health. Hey, there we go. That feels better. Swing makes sense. That's cool.
Oh, I could have done that. <laughs> Overall, once you get past the Green Goblin, the controls aren't horrible. It gets a lot smoother once you get to the Spider-Man, that's for sure. Web climbing mechanics work exactly as they should, which is nice. It's perfect sense for the mechanics. Coming. Holy shit. Wow, web sling works just like in the uh like main, bigger games. It's probably the nicest 2D web sling I've experienced yet in Spider-Man game. Yeah, like it looks good, it plays well. Um, once I got to goblin levels, this was perfectly fine. Getting it doesn't work on a whole premise. Fuck, how many more civilians are there? Jesus helps those who help themselves, guys. on the bridge. Good times. Oh yeah, no good news. Somebody puts Gabby in the corner. Was that graceful? No. Did I win? Yes. Be sure to check out the Is That All podcast for all of your geek news. You can find us anywhere you can stream and download podcasts and find us on social media at Is That All Pod. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me grow and lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out there. You can find me everywhere on social media at BBThiefy. And be sure to check out more videos, especially more console capers.